Hey everyone, my name is Tommy Reynolds and today I'm gonna to give you a brief little overview of what I think of the PixPro Gravity Backdrops. So the first time I actually ever got to use these was at this year's photography show, 2017, where I was asked to give a couple of talks over on the PixPro stand and they had these backdrops up ready to go to use. So I thought I would give them a go during some of my talks and <laughs> looking back at my images, I am so happy with the quality of these backdrops. Up until now, I've just really just been using seamless paper, which is absolutely fine, but I thought I would give these a go as I had the opportunity to, and I honestly don't think I will look back. And what makes these backdrops so, so amazing is that they're hand painted. It's an Italian canvas material, and you can tell it, you can feel it, you can, you can see it in the texture. So because I really wanted to use these again after the photography show, I did a shoot recently where I wanted to update some images in my portfolio, and I wanted to use some of the PixPro Gravity backdrops to use. So I borrowed a few different colors, different variations and different sizes just to have a play with them and it just kind of reinforced my love for these. I absolutely love these. We had a great, great time testing out um, the canvas backdrops and it's just, I, I can't honestly describe the quality. It just, it's, um, you can see it, you can feel it, you can, uh, you can smell it, you can, you can see the texture, you can feel the texture. Um, it's been hand painted um, and that's what makes them unique. So no two backdrops are the same. So there'll be, there'll be slight variance in the different patterns, but that's actually why I like it because I know that this one behind me and the others that I tried, is completely unique. You will not be able to get the same one as mine and I won't be able to get the same one as yours. So I was able to borrow an array of different colors and this one behind me is probably my favorite one. This is like kind of like a rustic brown and I borrowed a couple of these so that I could try it in my latest behind the scenes video, try and double up and get like a, almost look like it was two walls uh, connecting each other. And I really, really like that and just another example of how cool these backdrops are. If you, you can actually double them up and don't even have to be the same color. If you buy colors that kind of complement each other, then you can double up on this as well to make your, make your wall, if you like, even bigger. Now, Pixar Pro do sell these in two different sizes. You can get them in 1.6 by 2.5 meters or a slightly bigger 1.9 by 2.8 meters. So looking at the example, I've got one here. So I've got one rolled up just at the side here. It's the quality. You can feel straight away, it's, it's a lot thicker than paper. Um, you can feel that it's a canvas. You can see the texture. It's like a, um, it's like a, almost like a pair of, like a pair of jeans. You know, the more you use it, the more it kind of gets worn. But when I say worn, I mean that in a very good way. I don't mean that in a bad way. I actually, it's, I really do mean that in a good way. When you use it, the more you use it, it gets even more of that worn textured look. And I actually like that. I prefer that. I think that's a good thing. Um, with paper, obviously, if it scrunches up too much, then it just, it just looks creased. Whereas these, um, if, if, it gets a, if it gets a bit crunched or a bit worn, it doesn't affect the quality. It, I, I think it actually makes it look better. It gives it that more of that worn look. And because they're a canvas material, because it's a strong material, they store really easily. So with seamless paper, I'd be scared to kind of put it on its side um, or to, to kind of sit it up like that in case it kind of got um, stretched or kind of creased at the bottom. But because these are a strong material, I've got no problem storing these. They're so easy to kind of just hang against the wall, you know, when I was uh, swapping between colors. It made it really easy to kind of switch between the two. So all we did was use the PixarPro telescopic backdrop stand, and then we just used a couple of clamps that I bought just to clamp it to there, and, and, uh, and then we hoisted it up and then just began shooting. So it was really quick, really easy to switch between the two. So I really, really liked it. And the weight of it is between three and 400 grams per square meter. So it's a very, very strong material. Now I'm gonna point out the elephant in the room. Yes, it is a premium price. However, I honestly believe that it's worth the money. When you compare it to something like seamless paper or printed backdrops, this, you're never gonna get this again. This is completely unique, it's handmade. This is why it's a premium price. These backdrops have been used by professionals all over the world and there is a reason for it. 
They are so, so unique and I promise if you ever get the opportunity to have a play with one or buy one and use one, you will not regret it. I adore and I love these backdrops. The quality, the fabric, I, I just, I love it. It makes it so easy to transport as well when I need to throw them in the back of my car. It's, I know I'm not, I, I don't need to be as careful as I am with seamless paper. This is just, it's, it just works. It's professional, bu professionally built, like a camera when, when you buy it, or like light stands, you buy the metal ones, you know? They're built for professional use. They're built to be chucked around. These are also built for that purpose. They're built for professional quality use. And that's why I love using these PixPro Gravity Backdrops. I honestly won't look back. I love using these backdrops. And as I say, they do come in an array of different colors. So please go onto the website, check out the different colors that are available. And I promise you will not be disappointed. Awesome, awesome product. One of my favorite products that I've ever, I've ever had the opportunity to review. So that's about it from me guys. Thanks ever so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then please make sure you hit that like or share button or subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And as always, I will see you again next time. Cheers guys, bye bye.